All right, everybody. Welcome to the Feature Feature Aptio series where we talk about what's new and what's coming with our products. My name is Hunter Willis, and I look forward to jumping into the latest and greatest here. We're going to be talking about what's new with Aptio One, what's new with Cloudability, and we do have an update for Target Process to discuss as well. And then we have a great conversation with Kyle Totten today, Senior PM for Cloudability. He's going to be talking to us about some of the right sizing recommendation features that we've been rolling out in Cloudability. There have been a lot lately. Lately, so I uh, really look forward to having that conversation with him. But first, let's dive into Aptio One. First on the plate, we have integrated investment planning in Aptio One. Uh, that's integrated investment planning. It enables IT organizations to gain a deeper understanding of investment costs, with waterfall, agile, and their impact on a current and future budgets to provide a complete picture of planned investments. So this is a new feature rolling into Aptio One here. And then with Aptio BI, Right, the the um, the reports from that investment planning are now rolled into Aptio BI, so it's kind of a hand in hand update here. Uh, that information can be pulled into Aptio BI to be able to compare to, uh, you know, other data and reports that you have for other Aptio products. Again, Aptio BI is our uh, suite that's connecting reports across all of the uh, the Aptio products there. So other updates to be aware of. Um, there are two other. Um, report updates inside of Aptio BI. Uh, so basically just updating the, the way that costs are shown there and uh, existing reports within Aptio BI have also been updated um, has, as far as how they connect to Aptio One. On the horizon, uh, table hierarchies and subtotals are going to allow users to determine hierarchies and levels within tables in Aptio BI. So that's going to be a great update as well. So let's move on to cloudability. Um, Today, excited to announce that rise sizing for AWS EC2 auto scaling groups has dropped in cloudability. So that feature is live and ready to go now. Um, of course, auto scaling groups um, are there for to let customers take full advantage of the elasticity of the public cloud, right? Where you're, you can set parameters around auto scaling groups for groups of EC2 instances to allow them to scale up and down based on time, usage, right? Different parameters there. And the right sizing recommendations are going to allow you to see those auto scaling groups right in the instances within them and make recommendations for different EC2 instances that may save you money based on how those are scaling up and scaled out to allow your savings to scale with your your auto scaling groups. So um, other updates to be aware of we have Helm chart support for the uh, metrics agent deployment and cloud ability and um, We've also added the ability to detect service level and non anomalies in cloudability as well. And we have a new blog related to the topic that we're going to be talking about with Kyle today around these new EC2 recommendations. So head over to Aptio's blog, of course, after this podcast is done, right, uh, to check that out. Uh, on the horizon, we have cloudy cloudability AWS inventory reporting on the way. So we expect that a um, feature to be released here before too much longer. So keep your eyes out for that, and we'll cover that here on the feature feature when it's ready to go. For target process, we have configurable dropdowns. With this release, uh, it's enabling users to customize the available field values and quick add based on selections and other fields. So kind of being able to add uh, like a favorites list to those field values so you don't have to scroll through the values and the quick, dro quick add dropdown to select them, which took additional time uh, for users, you know, and also opened up room for uh, like user error and being able to do that. On the horizon, we have table view enhancements. We have objectives and key results ebook on the way, and we have our facts at case study showing how one of our customers is actually using target process to demonstrate the value brought by their agile processes and their agile portfolio. All right, great. So without further ado, let's jump into that conversation that we had with Kyle Totten about those right sizing recommendations in cloudability. Again, great conversation. Look forward to uh, showing everybody uh, what we talked about. All right, great. Kyle, thanks again for joining us today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Kyle Totten, Senior PM for Cloudability. He and his team have been working on a lot of right sizing recommendations that have been rolled into Cloudability here in recent months. Kyle, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what you do at Cloudability, and then let's just dive right into it. Talk to us about those right sizing recommendations via Cloudability and tell us about what that you know, what that is, what are we talking about when we say right-sizing uh, recommendations for people that aren't familiar with exactly the, the details of what we're diving into here? Sure, definitely. Hi, Hunter. Um, so yeah, thanks uh, Thanks for having me here today. I really appreciate it. So 
Uh, my name is Kyle Totten, um, and I am a senior uh, product manager here at Aptio for our Cloudability product. Um, I focus heavily on some of the key components of Cloudability, such as our right sizing capabilities, um, along with the policies and preferences related to that, uh, as well as our ROI uh, tracking capabilities, our uh, APM integrations for utilization data, uh, such as things like our JIRA integration, um, and also our uh, multi-currency uh, support here as well. So um, yeah, that's a little bit about myself. I'm really excited to be here today and discuss uh, just a couple of things that we have uh, going on that's new with right sizing um, on cloudability. So um, yeah, I guess the, uh, the first thing that I kind of want to jump into here is um, our uh, cloudability right sizing uh, component uh, that is uh, the ability to, that uh, now has the ability to provide enhanced uh, right sizing savings recommendations. Uh, based on GPU processing and memory utilization for our customers that use AWS. So um, what we've real, realized here is that uh, our customers are finding, you know, increased usages uh, for uh, cloud VMs that not only have CPUs, but um, also GPUs as well uh, to support uh, modern workloads for things like, um, for example, machine learning and things like that. Um, so with this release, um, what we're really going for here is uh, that GPU data um, will now be something that will be ingested by Cloudability and utilized to provide um, enhanced uh, right sizing uh, savings recommendations um, and will now be taken into account when making these recommendations. So. Um, this also means that, you know, GPU uh, right sizing, saving recommendations uh, will now uh, be available in terms of which instance types uh, the recommendations are for. Um, so in all, I mean, these, uh, you know, these new data metrics supply uh, a new dimension uh, for our recommendations engine um, to really provide uh, additional savings uh, for customers. Um, in terms of this uh, initial v1 release that we have um, it will just initially be for our aws uh, using customers uh, however we have uh, subsequent releases planned uh, to provide uh, this capability for customers that use other csbs such as azure and gcp uh, so feature parity um, in this regard uh, will be happening here in the future that's fantastic. So like we're looking at instances right now for AWS, they have GPUs. We're looking at the GPUs, the memory they consume and saying, hey, is this the right instance for based on the utilization there? We're recommending a different one that could save you money there. And what you're saying is we're going to be able to do that for, you know, potentially Azure and GCP in the not too distant future as well, right? Yeah, that is correct. Yep. Perfect. Cool, man. And so uh, what else is what else is going on? What else are you going to touch on there? Yeah, so uh, the second feature that we're, we're actually really excited about is the new right sizing recommendations for AWS auto scaling groups. Uh, so this is a feature that was just released uh, very recently here. Um, and what it does is it provides uh, cost saving recommendations for AWS EC2 auto scaling groups um, that can be applied at the group configuration level. So. Uh, what that means is previously uh, we had right sizing recommendations, uh, but these only were only provided at uh, an individual level for each individual EC2 instance, uh, for example. So um, these new auto scaling group recommendations are basically entirely new um, and they really help not only uh, make these recommendations more efficient in terms of EC2 instances that are part of an auto scaling group by condensing them down to the group level. So you're going to see a lot less recommendations in total that you have to go through, but the savings of the group itself and the recommendations that can be applied to the group itself are potentially much larger than what they would be for trying to right size uh, each individual instance within the group. Um, so again, for our, you know, for our V1 release here um, of this feature, we're starting with AWS auto scaling groups, 
Um, however, like I uh, you know alluded to with the GPU utilization capabilities uh, that I discussed earlier, um, we already have subsequent releases planned uh, to provide you know sort of the same type of cost saving recommendations for the functionality that other uh, cloud service providers use, such as, for example, Azure scale sets, um, uh, GCP uh, managed instance groups, um, and groupings like those for those CSPs. So um, it's something that we're very excited about. We think it has the potential to save our customers a lot of money and have a really uh, high level of cost saving uh, impact for them. So that's fantastic. That's really cool news. Yeah, it's almost like when I think about it, it's like, it's like almost like, hey, look, the customer is trying to increase their ability to ease scale, right? And, and you know, the scaling up of their, their cloud platform as well as scaling it down. So like, hey, why not be able to scale those savings along with it, right? By making these recommendations more specific to that capability in AWS. That's really cool, Kyle. Thank you very much, man. Um, is there any other things that you want to touch on that are, that are coming up or coming down the road um, or anything else you, you want to say while you, uh, you have the opportunity here? Um, yeah, really just more uh, feature parity items. Um, the way we try to do is uh, uh, like come out and release things as sort of a, a crawl, walk, walk, run uh, method where we'll start with maybe providing a feature for one particular uh, CSP. And then um, once we've got that, uh, feature released, once we've gotten feedback, once we've gotten that um, in a very good place, then we'll go down the line and uh, provide feature parity for other CSPs uh, in the future. So. That's great. Yeah. And I've seen that as I've been here, man. It's really cool to see us expand that portfolio across the, the different cloud platforms. So looking forward to seeing these kinds of recommendations roll out um, across them as well. Well, thanks again for your time, Kyle. Really appreciate it, um, and we'll we'll see you next time. Maybe as uh, some of that expansion happens, and we get other recommendations rolling into cloudability. Great man, thanks for having me. All right, take care. You too. All right, great. Thanks again, Kyle. Really appreciate it. Look forward to you to having you back. As we said, as those uh, those right sizing uh, recommendations expand in cloudability, there's a lot of cool stuff coming up uh, for the rest of the year. So, really looking forward to that. Again, this is the feature feature, so thanks for watching this month. That wraps everything up for the most part here. Just want to touch on, you can find those product updates that have already released for uh, any of our products here at Aptio by visiting the, the Help Center, the upper right-hand corner widget in any of our applications. When you go to that Help Center, if you go to the What's New section for the product that you're looking for, it'll show you um, updates. Also, sometimes links to further documentation, screenshots, and specific details about the updates and how they help out you, our customers. So thanks again for watching this month. Don't forget to like, comment, share this material here on LinkedIn as it's live, and then head on over to YouTube once the, the recording completes. Uh, feel free to share that out. Check out the other feature feature videos from previous releases. And also, don't forget to check out our FinOps Friday series with Nate Besh. A lot of great content. This month's, this month's was actually really, really good. Check that out. Um, if you just head over to the playlist section on our YouTube channel. Uh, and again, feel free to comment, ask further questions there as well. We always try to be interactive, answer questions as our customers and other people in the industry that are checking out our content have them. Thanks again. My name is Hunter Willis. You all have a great month. We'll see you next time on the Feature Feature.